Worldwide Telescope appeals to me because the interface is so visual and the way that you find things is visual. It just looks great. It's, it's beautiful and, and its ability to tell the story and narrative. And between looking good and being able to tell this narrative, it's, it's a very powerful way to describe science to the public. It was that sense of a profound kind of experiential trip that left me you know, in a state of awe. One of the things we really wanted to do with the Worldwide Telescope was to make it an application that was as beautiful as the night sky is. We have just gorgeous mosaics of the night sky, images from Hubble, and we didn't want to take away from that by creating a, a busy user interface. Part of that was to make, that, uh, make the design of it fairly innocuous, fairly intuitive, and to allow you to browse as easily as you could just by dragging the sky around and using something as simple as the scroll wheel to zoom in anywhere. It really feels like you're using a, a browser. You know, it's the web browser for the night sky. In science education, I think the Worldwide Telescope is incredibly useful because it really gives us this unified perspective on the universe. It allows us to see the relationships between things. What's near, what's far, what's the size and scale of things? How are they related? To look at the night sky as you would see it with your own eyes, and then move out to and zoom in on uh, planets, uh, stars, nebula, galaxies, uh, has never been available uh, to people before. What pops out in my mind about the design of this uh, worldwide telescope is the dashboard nature of it, the clarity with which it presents its possibilities. There's no end to the way in which the elements on this dashboard can be combined to take you into new places. You can easily browse these thumbnails, find out more information, and see where they're located. As things come into view that look interesting, you could look at a thumbnail and say, wow, what's that? Click on that, and it takes you to that object in the sky. You can have two images from different wavelengths, and you can then you know, have this little slider bar, and you move it around, and you see how these images align to each other. Now that is so useful. It's just an engaging, beautiful experience that pulls you into it and makes you want to spend time with it. It's a really, really unobtrusive design, I think. It lets people really explore the universe in a very freeform way that I think visually is incredibly powerful. The presentation uh, of the Worldwide Telescope through its uh, interactivity is one of the most sophisticated and yet one of the most simple to use of any I've seen. I've studied a lot of these kinds of learning systems online and this one happens to have the most clear, the most obvious pathways to learning. Suddenly there was a sense of the cosmos, a sense of the universe that we brought so much alive, it kind of touched me in so many different ways that you know, I was left with a feeling, my God, I'd forgotten that sense of awe. It had been years since I've experienced the awe that I experienced there.